Hi Libra, this is your May bonus tarot reading. We'll have uh, three separate spreads in this bonus reading. In the first spread we'll look at what you urgently need to know right now and it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes up. Then in the second spread we'll look at the advice for either the first spread or in, uh, general advice for the next couple of weeks and in spread number three we'll see the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the first spread. Libra, this is what you urgently need to know right now. We have uh, the King of Cups clarified by the Three of Wands. We have uh, the Knight of Swords clarified by the Hierophant. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles clarified by the Two of Pentacles and we have the Sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a whole bunch of people. <laughs> well, at least one, right? You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Air, Gemini, and other Libra, or Aquarius. We have Taurus, and we have Leo on the table. But I usually go with a King or a Queen if one or two uh, come out, right? So the first card, the very first card to come out is the King of Cups, and it kind of looks like this King of Cups is about to make up their mind, somebody uh, about to make a final decision to pursue you. To rush in and offer you a commitment. That's their strategy, that's their plan. And uh, I don't know if it's going to backfire on them because at the end uh, you'll be, you're not going to be 100% sure. Perhaps for some of you because you have, like I said earlier, uh, you may have a couple of people you're dealing with and uh, the King of Cups is just one of them. Okay, um, But uh, either way, yeah, uh, the King of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. They're clarified by the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is my card of somebody who made a final decision, somebody who made up their mind. Um, and after that, there is no turning back. So what they're doing is they are coming towards you real, real quick. The Knight of Swords, the next card over, most likely that's their energy. It's one. It's the fastest knight out of all for nice, they could be traveling, if this person is at a distance from you, you'll see them. <laughs> that distance is not going to be a problem. But for most of you, I think this is them um, getting ready to rush in and attempt to sw uh, sweep you off your feet. The Hierophant, Clefine, the Knight of Swords um, could be a Taurus you're dealing with, uh, but most likely uh, this is what they intend to do. This is what it's all about, right? The Knight of, uh, I mean, the Hierophant is a card of something serious, uh, something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. It's also a very spiritual and educational card. The Sun on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the Sun is a card of clarity and, uh, by the way, it's the happiest card in the deck. With the Sun card, people usually feel on top of the world. This is a card of success, victory, feeling loved, and uh, joyful, and obviously happy. At the end, however, the last two cards we have are the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Those two cards are definitely your energy. As a matter of fact, the Six of Pentacles always reminds me of you. Libra, because the person standing up, standing in the middle, is holding up scales, and as we all know, scales are uh, your uh, sign, <laughs> Libra, right? So, you will have a choice to make, either between two people, where the King of Cups is one of them, or a choice whether you want to move forward with this person or not. The Two of Pentacles, Clefai, and the Six of Pentacles, same thing. This is you trying to wrap your head around this, trying to make a choice, weighing pros and cons, things like that. Alright, so here's the deal, Libra. I'm going to leave you at this. I think the universe wants you to make up your mind on your own. I know you guys struggle with decision-making processes every once in a while. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just the way you guys are. That's the way you operate. And uh, just be yourself. Take your time. Even though they're rushing in, I think you can still tell them, wait, 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 right, right here, I'll be right back. <laughs> Let me think about it. That's why I kind of mentioned that uh, this uh, whole rushing in uh, plan may backfire on them because you will still need time to think about this. So please do and let them know what you, or what your verdict, what your decision is. In the second spread, we'll look at the advice just in general for the next couple of weeks. Here's the second spread, uh, Libra, this is an advice for you in general for the next couple of weeks. We have Death, the Ten of Wands, the World, and uh, we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. Uh, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or uh, an Aquarius. It kind of feels like uh, this will be most likely applicable to you if you are experiencing some kind of a hardship or if you have some kind of a burden, you have additional responsibilities, if you're working really hard towards something. Okay, and it feels like uh, 
the advice for you Libra is to keep pushing <laughs> it's about to end right it's about to come to a happy end all right for some of you if you are studying in college and school then uh, you will graduate for others of you again if you are working towards something and it is tough on you it is taking a toll on you it's about to end so keep pushing all right so we have um, death the first card I came out could be a Scorpio you're dealing but death is a card of transformation okay um, the ten of ones the next card over um, let me let me point one thing out before we move on from the death card you see how there is a sunrise on the right side of the death card right this is a sunrise of a new day of a new chapter of your life all right the ten of wands the next card over is a card of a burden it's a card of something that's taken a toll on us something that's tough rough you know something that you work towards right uh, perhaps you work towards a goal and you you know burn the midnight oil because of that uh, you have to work extra hours or something like that uh, but the, the good news like I said it's about to come to an end the world the next card over is my happy end card this is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and a new chapter a better chapter a happier chapter of your life is about to begin the death card by the way in some tarot decks is actually even called death and rebirth and together with the world card yes things are about to uh, change transform things are about to turn around for you the star on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right could be an Aquarius you're dealing but the star is a card of a hope the star is a card of a wish come true but the thing about the star card it's something people usually wish or hope for for a long time so if you're working towards a goal if you have a wish and if you've been working towards it really hard it's about to finally be granted so hang in there keep doing what you're doing you're almost there alright <laughs> and uh, we're moving on uh, spread number three is the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future Libra here's the third spread this is the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face uh, we have the Three of Swords, classified by the King of Pentacles. Um, we have the Ten of Swords, we have uh, the Four of Cups, classified by the Ace of Swords. And we have the Devil on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a bit of an odd spread, but there is a perfect explanation. <laughs> right, so this King of Pentacles is going to get rejected. Their heart is going to be broken. Right, they're going to be shut down and uh, that's what's gonna put a smile on your face this is the next good thing for whatever reason you know it could be your ex coming back to you trying to get back into your good graces and you're shutting them down or it could be somebody else who gets rejected and again it could this is what's actually making you happy this this king of pentacles devastation rejection broken hearts that's what's uh, that's the next good thing that will happen to you, um, Libra. You can always leave me a comment. Let me know who this person is. Um, but let's talk about this real quick, right? So we got the Three of Swords, classified by the King of Pentacles. The Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart. It's a card of a devastation, feeling stabbed in the back, betrayed, things like that. And uh, the King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Devil on the bottom of the deck. Uh, is a major kind of card for uh, Capricorn, right? So, and a Capricorn is an Earth sign. So, this King of Pentacles could be um, a Capricorn. If they're not a Capricorn, that's okay too. Still, most likely an Earth sign. And the Devil in this case is a card of temptation. It's a card of somebody who is very toxic. All right, uh, karmic things like that. The Ten of Swords in the middle is a card of uh, somebody being shut down. It's a card of an abrupt ending, and I think that's what's uh, this King of Pentacles is experiencing. They are being shut down. The Four of Cups, the next card over, is a card of a rejection. Right? And, I, and again, I believe it's the King of Pentacles who is being rejected by either you or someone else. All right, And uh, you'll just hear the news from somebody that this King of Pentacles got rejected and then you're like, ha ha, I knew it. So it's going to be like a revenge, <laughs> I guess, in some, sh in some shape or form. So tables have def definitely turned here. The Ace of Swords, clarifying uh, the Four of Cups. It could be your Ace, right? The Ace of Swords belongs to you. You are the King and the Queen of Swords. 
Uh, but the, at the same time, it could belong to somebody else who is uh, being very decisive and cutting this person out with that Ace of Swords. And uh, the Ace of Swords could be a very straightforward, very direct uh, communication. So, uh, whoever, is, whoever is rejecting this King of Pentacles, they're going to be very blunt, very straightforward, very direct with this King of Pentacles. I hope that makes sense to you, Libra. And uh, that's what I pretty much have for you for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing the rest of the month.